Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a review and a setup of this uh, free MG V2 gimbal. So here is the box that, you actually, that it actually comes with and it's actually even the box itself looks quite solid and very exciting. So we actually have this. Once you open it from the box, you actually have this very big black case. And then inside it, you have everything that you need in the rope stable images. So after you open it up, right, you actually have you can see all these things here. Sorry. Okay, so this is the main body. And then you have all the handles over here, which you can do into three modes, which is the handheld mode, the portable mode, and of course the three axis. Am I three handle? Three axis? So you have two, they actually give you two sets of batteries, and each set of batteries can actually last for about six hours. So you have like you can do half a day, the whole day. You have no worries about you know getting uh, extra batteries. Okay, so today I'm going to try it on with my EOS M, the very small one. I, from what I found, right, if the heavier your camera gets, the harder it is for you to actually adjust and do the adjustment on the camera. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to put the batteries in. All you need is just one for the most simplest mode. I call it selfie mode like, because it looks like, you know, holding a a portable a tripod something like that for, for selfies and something just that you get stable videos if you are doing like vlogs or something like that so just screw it in all right and then there you have it well, up, there's actually this adjustment plate here whereby you can adjust the camera when you put it on so what i am going to do right now is to put it on and this will take a little bit of time let's see I actually took quite a bit of time learning how to do this, so I'm just gonna speed up the video after this. Okay, so now you see the camera is like very, you know, like here and there. By right, after you adjust it, it is using all this axis, the knobs, one, two, three. It will actually help you to get, it is supposed to be straight, if you leave it, it's supposed to be straight. So what I need to do is to adjust it a little bit, you know, make sure that it is actually really like straight and correctly done so you play around with all these three axes whatever your camera that is because it depends on how heavy and how big your camera is and what lens you are using as well so what I'm using here is a very small one which is I can I can say it's easy to actually get it done wait one second I'm gonna move it to the back a little bit and see what happens. Hopefully it's like straight. Okay, so right now you have this thing, it's supposed to be straight when you like, you know, when you leave it alone, not touching it. So the on button is here, you need to press and hold. Ah, so if you see a little bit, that thing actually moved a little bit, right? So this is what you have. You can do this. I'm gonna get some footage from here and show you like uh, okay let's say if you get right after you on the gimbal if you get all these vibrating sounds like all that right which means you need to calibrate it so what you can do is you go to the instruction manual there's actually three points that you need to do to calibrate which is this this and this this three and what you need to do is five five uh, sorry tap five times and tap six times or seven times for each so whenever like example you tap um, five times right now and then you do up and down to calibrate it until the vibration goes away and then that means you have the stable one alright so wait come on let's get the stable one I'm sorry okay so this and it is the image that you are gonna, you are gonna get okay sorry I need to focus okay you actually have like so much more stable stuff what you can do is if you tap three times one, two, three. You actually turn 180 degrees and look at me. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then you do it again. One, two, three. Okay. And then you can actually do the pan up and down. So it's actually very stable compared to you like holding the camera and we're just gonna shake it here and there and then you see the difference, you know. Yep. So what you need is actually this part from the gimbal the box, this one. And then you take away the battery part. Okay, this is the battery part. What you need 
is you get this on this whichever way first like as long as you get this all done here and then this one here what well, it is like that lah easier just turn okay so this is the other mode that you can actually use okay so now I'm gonna show you how I make it into the dual handheld mode so this part right all you need to do is get this the one and slot it in and lock it for both sides we have one more here ah, okay. lock it in and then this is the other side for you to do like the handle bar okay so there's this screw here you actually have to loosen it first ah, okay slot it in I feel turning this is easier Maybe because I don't have much strength As a girl Okay Tighten it again and there you have it You have your dual handheld mode So this will actually be useful if you are shooting a short film I guess Imagine that Running around with this looks so cool Okay so the other parts you can actually play around with it. There's this charger over here for your oops, oh my god. Charger here over here for your battery. There's a cable that comes with it. Warranty card manual. Actually read. Just try to read the manual. Or if you still cannot do it, then maybe you can just try to um, watch more videos on YouTube. Okay, I hope I have helped you today and uh, in one way or another. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you.